There are two main types of freshwater bass families in North America. The temperate bass that look something like this, and the black bass that all look something like this. What many people don't know is that there are many species of bass within those two families, around 14 total depending on who you ask. This video will feature a list of all the bass species in North America. I'm going to begin this list with the black bass species that are not as widely known. The species of bass all have very similar features to one another, and in order to identify them you need to look really closely at lateral lines, at the amount of rays they have on their fins, their ranges are really important, also size can play an important role in identifying bass. The upper jaw of the red-eye bass does not extend beyond its eye. It has spiny and soft dorsal fins which are connected with a very shallow notch. The dorsal fin will have 9 to 11 spines and the anal fin will have 3 spines. This fish is primarily found in Alabama, Georgia, Tennessee, and North Carolina. The Guadalupe bass can be identified by a tooth patch found on its tongue. The bases of the soft dorsal fins and anal fins are also scaled. The Guadalupe bass is only found in Texas. The shoal bass was first thought to be a red-eye bass, but since has been classified as its own species. It has dark vertical blotches that fade as the fish ages. The dark spots below the lateral line also form in horizontal rows. Almost all the shoal bass's territory is in the state of Georgia. The Alabama bass was originally thought to be a spotted bass subspecies, but in 2008 became its own species. As you can guess from its name, its native range is found almost exclusively in Alabama. Spotted bass are often darker in color, with bronze hues and rows of noticeable spots along their bodies. These spots often form dark horizontal stripes. Smallmouth bass have a brownish green to gold coloration that lightens down their sides to a yellow or white stomach. They are much more widely distributed and a lot more common than most of the bass species on this list. Largemouth bass are the most common fish species on this list. They have that iconic large mouth which can help distinguish them from the other bass species. Their range is very widespread throughout the entire continental United States. The Florida bass is a subspecies of the common largemouth bass. However, its range is almost only in Florida and Texas. The Sewanee bass is a heavy-bodied bass that rarely exceeds 12 inches long. This bass species is only found in Florida and Georgia. Now for the temperate bass species. The yellow bass is the easiest bass of the temperate species to tell apart because of its distinct yellow color. This bass is found in the Mississippi River system. The white perch is actually not a perch at all, but indeed a bass. It looks very similar to the white bass and the yellow bass, but it lacks the dark horizontal stripes along the body. Its native range runs along the Atlantic coastline of the continental United States. White bass, also known as silver bass, is one of the most popular of the temperate bass species. Striped bass is the very biggest bass of the temperate bass species. There are both populations of freshwater striped bass and saltwater striped bass. Some of these specimens have been recorded to be up to 5 feet long. Wiper is a hybrid species of white bass and striped bass. They are known for being much stockier than the long striped bass. There are a few common species that anglers regularly catch, such as peacock bass and rock bass, but these fish are actually not true bass. This is just one video in a series that I am doing about fish in their native ranges. If you are interested in seeing more videos like this, please subscribe. Thanks, and we'll see you on the next one.